Hello everyone, I am Shristi, an agriculturist and today I will be discussing the scopes in agriculture sector in India. Hope you will find your interest area after watching this video. Generally, these are the two ways anyone gets into agriculture. Do not forget to mention yours in the comment section below. So, once you have entered the sector, are you thinking of the opportunities? Are you worried about the future? Then don't, because you have entered a sector with ample of opportunities in every direction. Do you remember during the 2020 pandemic when lockdown was announced? What was the first thing people ran out for out of their homes? It was ration. Yes, you heard correct. Groceries. It has been very well said. You can live without a doctor. You can live without a lawyer, but not without an agriculturist. So to discover the opportunities, let's begin with understanding the functions and operations in Indian agriculture. Agri begins with soil and hence production. So if you are interested in growing vegetables, fruits, forage crops, etc., then this is your area. Now for production, there are need of inputs. Again, inputs in agriculture has three verticals, which are seeds, fertilizers, machineries like tractors, and capital or financial services. Hence, if you are interested in research, production, development, management, marketing, sales, etc. of these, this is your area. And no need to worry, all these are available in both government and private sector. Next is operations. All the intercultural activities a farmer performs in his field comes under operations. The extension workers or agents are of great help in diffusion of the innovations and is a connecting link between the researchers and the farmers. So, once the produce is harvested, we get yield, which needs to be supplied either through B2B or B2C in raw form, or is sent to the processing units. Now, Agritech. In this digital era, agriculture is also transforming through technology, through the use of apps, remote sensing, GPS, GIS, and all of these has increased intensively. This can be discussed in detail in some other video. Do let me know in the comment section below if you want to hear more on this. Next is agricultural journalism. journalism. Sorry. Um, agricultural journalism is a branch of journalism working specifically in agri sector, like the diffusion of information, ideas, new technologies, etc. A very classic example I would like to give you uh, is DD Kisan. Again, when we have the output ready, but the processing units are overloaded, you don't want to sell your produce or you want to fetch higher prices in the market, then the cold storages and warehouses come into picture. Next is trading and procurement. Government has made it easy through ENAM or Electronic National Agriculture Market. Next is plant health clinics, which are really very important component as almost all the crops gets infested with pests or pathogens. Also, soil health clinics are also being promoted a lot by the government. Next is research. If you want to get into this sector, there are lots of work going into it. Uh, for example, to name a few, hiding varieties of seeds, organic farming, which is very trending these days, are also scaling high. This slide shows the relation between researchers and field work, where farmer is used for trials and feedback 
whereas the research institutes where the researcher works uh, to find solutions to the problems of the farmers. If you are interested in working at institutes, you can work either as researchers, which we have already discussed in the previous uh, slide. And the next one is professors, uh, where you can work at colleges, universities or even at school level, whatever you wish. Logistics, which are very important part of supply chain and these require skilled as well as unskilled workers and employees for their management. Next are, you can open your startups, be a consultant to any consultancy services company, open an agritourism business or enter into policy making. If you are interested in finance or economics, then don't miss the opportunities at financial institutions. Here, you can contribute to credit services, providing loans, subsidies, insurances and schemes. There are even more and more opportunities into this sector. Choose your interest area, charge yourself and begin to chase your dream. Hope you like this video. Thank you.